What's going on everybody? It is Drew with Profit Monsters coming back at you guys with another what sold video for eBay. And I'm really excited about this one. It's gonna be a little bit longer because I have to go over a couple of weeks of sales in June, but I'm not gonna do everything. I'm just gonna do some of my favorite sales and the most profitable sales and explain those. We've got between 25 and 30 items that I'm gonna hit. So let's just jump right into it and show you guys what has been sold in June. All right, we're gonna start earlier than later. This is a Mickey Mouse uh, Disney mouse pad that I had sold. I picked this up at a garage sale. I bought a Mac keyboard and, a, and an Apple uh, mouse, and the guy actually gave me this mouse pad for free with the sale. I paid $2 for all three items, so I guess you could say I paid about 67 cents for it, and I sold it full list price for $19.99. So that was a really good sale, buyer paid shipping. Normally on this kind of stuff, I do offer free shipping, but for whatever reason, I had regular shipping selected. So that's awesome, that was a really great sale. Next is probably one of my uh, quickest selling items that I've ever had on eBay. I posted this and sold it in less than 30 minutes. Um, I got this vintage single stitch Florida Gators polo. Uh, as you can see here, just a really cool design. It's Nike brand, which is just awesome. You can see that there's a little Nike swoosh there on the left and uh, just a really cool design going over here and gaiters on the, on the right there. So it was a really cool shirt. It was white, uh, but it was super clean. And I sold this for full list price at $39.99. Uh, plush buyer paid shipping, so that was a really good sale. I picked this up at the Goodwill Outlets at the bins. So, I mean, all in, I probably was a less than a dollar. Uh, I mean, I think it weighed about 12 ounces or something like that. So, really good sale there. Next is this alligator pin. Um, I got this from a thrift store that I went to where if you saw a while ago on my Instagram, I purchased a vest with a ton of pins on it and I've been slowly selling off all the pins from the vest. I took them off and listed them all individually. And this one I had accidentally actually listed as a uh, auction instead of a buy it now and my auction started at $14.99. Someone made a bid and they ended up winning it. Uh, so there was only one bid on it but I sold it for $15 plus shipping. I had paid um, $10 for the whole vest and there was probably about 40, 50 pins on the vest. So I did really good overall considering I sold this one pin and made more than my whole, my whole investment back. And I've been selling the pins pretty consistently. So this was a really cool sale and just something a little bit different than what I uh, typically sell on my eBay store. Next is this lot of three uh, Funko Wacky Wobblers bobbleheads. They are kind of like Funko Pops from like early 2000, 2001. I picked these up at a flea market. I paid $5 each and I listed them for 80. And within a couple of hours, I had an offer. We counter offered a couple times and ended up selling for $68 plus shipping. So it was a really good sale. The buyer was super happy and actually said if I find any more to reach out to him. So these were pretty cool. Lucky Charms, Tricks, and Captain Crunch. And I actually got a duplicate of the Captain Crunch, so I have another one up for sale for like 30 bucks. So hopefully I can sell that one too, but just a pretty cool sale overall. Really interesting find at the flea market. Uh, I've never sold any of the Funkos or the Wacky Wobblers before, so that was my first time. And my pictures were actually pretty crummy on this, so I was really pleased with the sale considering that like you can see my, my bar stools in the back. I wasn't really thinking, I was just excited to get them listed, but um, so yeah, it was a pretty cool sale. Next is this lot of Pokemon figures. Um, there's 54 of these mini figurines that I had picked up at a garage sale with a bunch of other Pokemon stuff. And uh, there were some small figurines in this lot. There was another lot that you'll see here in a little bit uh, of figurines. And so I separated them out by size. And then I had some Pokemon cards and a hat and stuff that I had got uh, with this lot of stuff. I paid 20 bucks for everything and I sold I actually accepted a best offer for this on for $25 plus free shipping. Cost me about five bucks to ship, so I basically made my investment back on, on all the Pokemon stuff from this one sale. So pretty cool there. You can see all the little characters and creatures, a couple Pikachus, and um, they were all in really good shape. And the lady who bought them said she was surprising her son, left me really good feedback, and uh, just a really cool sale. Next is a vintage University of Miami Hurricanes hat. I had picked this up at the Goodwill outlets, the bins for obviously its weight, and it was, about, I think these are like eight ounces or so, six to eight ounces. So I had about less than 50 cents into this, or about 50 cents, 
and uh, I sold it for full list price of $19.90, uh, plus shipping of $4.39. So really cool sale, made a lot of money on it, and um, I'm really happy because I buy a lot of hats, and they take a little bit of time to sell because there's so many, especially because I didn't offer free shipping on this. Um, but it was just a really cool graphic, really cool design, so it sold quick. Here's the other lot of Pokemon figurines here. These are like small, medium figurines. Uh, plus there was two little Pokemon erasers there down at the bottom. I had sold these ones for $24.99 plus free shipping. So all in all, I sold the Pokemon figures for 50 bucks and I spent about $10 to ship both of the lots. So about $40 uh, gross profit there, minus my investment, obviously. Uh, and I still have lots of other Pokemon stuff listed for sale from that lot. So I'm doing really well with that. And um, uh, just put a cl couple close-ups of one of the bigger Pokemon. I don't even know who all of them are, but I knew it was a really good deal. Pokemon is really popular right now still, even with Detective Pikachu coming out. So be on the lookout for those. Next is this uh, Speedo uh, Swimming Parka. I picked this up at the Goodwill Outlet Bins. It was in really, really good condition. No rips or tears. It was just super clean. And uh, the size was extra small, so it would probably be for a kid or um, a really small lady, something like that. I sold, I listed it for, I think, uh, $89.99, and I sold it for $69.99 um, plus shipping. So this was a really good sale for me. I basically, I think this was like two and a half, three pounds. So I had paid about less than $4 for it, three to $4, and I sold it for $70 bucks plus shipping. So Really happy with that sale. The Goodwill Outlets has been doing really good for me. So I am really enjoying going there and the profits are just insane. Next, if you guys have seen any of my other videos, these wacky packages are still doing really, really good for me. This is one um, 1976. If you ever see these, the bowl, this is a good bolo. Uh, 1976 year, the 16th uh, series right here. These are just really good to have, really good to find. You can normally pick them up pretty cheap. And I ended up selling this card for $49.99 plus free shipping. So uh, if you saw my other videos, I paid $2 for a box of over 500 of these. And uh, so, I mean, I probably made over $500 or more just from these. And I still have more to list and I still have more on eBay for sale. So great sale. Uh, super happy with that. Next is this really cool pair of men's Converse that I picked up from the Goodwill Outlets. And actually the soles on the bottom, I should have the pictures here. Let me try to pull these up. Um, the soles on the bottom were actually peeling just a little bit. If you look on the top right here, this sole was actually not in that great a shape. And I even put in the details that I was using shoe glue uh, to glue it back. I listed these and sold them uh, in less than 24 hours for $39.99 uh, full list price and it was just a great sale and I think my pictures definitely helped because there was another listing of the same shoe and the pictures were not very good quality and uh, so I messaged the buyer to make sure he was comfortable with it even with the shoe glue and uh, he confirmed so really good sale the shoes were in great condition picked them up at the outlets basically two dollars two dollars and fifty cent investment so really good sale there Next is uh, Mario Party 64. Uh, this is from my collection of video games. I've been trying to sell off some of them. I listed this one for $42 and uh, free shipping. I ended up selling it, accepting a best offer of $38 um, with free shipping. So I made about $35 on this. Uh, Nintendo 64 games do really well. There's a lot of them that are over $20 to $30 range. And so be on the lookout for those, especially at garage sales. People tend to let them go really cheap. So... Uh, great item. Next is a lot of three Donkey Kong Country uh, Super Nintendo games. I actually had all these in my collection and I listed them as a lot. And I sold them for full list price, $69.99 plus shipping. This was a really great sale. And again, really crappy pictures. Obviously, you can see they're sitting in my lap. Uh, this is like one of the first hundred items that I had posted on eBay. So they sat for a while. Uh, before I sold them. But um, anyway, I'm really thrilled to take the sale and uh, obviously get some money. This is another, as you can see, like if you see the, all the different backgrounds, I was playing around with my first like 100 to 500 items on what works the best for taking pictures and my lighting and stuff. So all of these are me just kind of working out, 
the kinks of learning this business and what pictures to advertise. This was a Melissa and Doug uh, beep beep bop play something or other that I had picked up from Target. This was a retail arbitrage deal. I think I paid $14.98 for this um, and I ended up listing it for like $50. And then I slowly started declining the price because it just was sitting and it was taking up a lot of space. So I decided uh, to lower the price and I accepted a best offer of $26.99 plus shipping. Buyer paid $23 shipping. So that's why it took a while to sell because the shipping was super expensive. Uh, but really happy with the sale still and uh, got it out of my storage unit. This is a Victoria's Secret um, three-quarter uh, fleece or Sherpa pullover. In really good condition. Uh, I sold this for fullest price at $34.99, free shipping, and um, picked this up, I believe, at the Goodwill Outlets. Uh, so again, I have probably less than two bucks into this deal. So super thrilled about that. This was a really cool piece I picked up at a flea market the same day I got the uh, Funko Wacky Wobblers. This was like a vintage multi-tool spoon and fork. Um, you like a pocket knife type thing. It wasn't even in that great a condition. There's a bunch of scratches on it and a little bit dirty. Um, but I sold it for fullest price of 15 bucks. And uh, now it's a bolo for me. These multi-tools are really cool. I'm sorry, not 15 bucks, but uh, $29.99. I have another one listed for 15 bucks. Um, but $29.99 was just a really good sale and uh, the buyer was super happy with it. Next is a vintage uh, Syracuse sweatshirt. This just goes to show the reason I have this up because I only sold this for, um, I believe I accepted a best offer for this at 15 bucks. Um, and the reason that I'm showing this is because it's summer. I'm in Florida. It's 108 degrees outside every day or it's raining. And uh, I still managed to sell this for $15 in the summer. People still go shopping for clothes, for jackets, for hoodies, all that kind of stuff. So if you're a reseller and you buy jackets, but you're not listing them till winter, I recommend still listing them because I'm still making sales on a day-to-day -day basis, almost with jackets, sweatshirts, long sleeve shirts, all sorts of stuff, because it's still cold in other areas. So um, don't hesitate on those listings, still put them up and uh, go from there. Uh, next is this Yamaha uh, CD player um, that uh, actually holds uh, a bunch of CDs. And um, I actually, no, I'm sorry. This is a, uh, a stereo. I don't know. Let me look. It's been a while. Um, I think this is, this is a VCR actually. Um, and I picked this up at a garage sale for five bucks. And I was super happy with the sale and the guy who bought it was super happy. So um, I don't think I sold this for $70 though. I think I accepted a best offer of 60. So um, it was a really good sale. Buyer paid shipping and I shipped, shipped it out and uh, called it a day. So really good sale, five, $5 investment. Next is this little trees hat. This was a really quick sale, less than 24 hours, uh, new era. Um, always fresh. You can see the little Christmas tree, like air freshener thing there, pine tree. And, um, that was in really good condition. I picked this up at the bins for, you know, paying by the pound again. So probably less than a dollar into this hat. And I sold it for $19 and 98 cents free shipping. Next is another, um, pocket knife. This was a Victorinox. Um, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, multi-tool pocket knife. Swiss Army that I picked up at the flea market, the same place that I got the um, the, mul the other multi-tool, the fork and spoon one. So um, obviously you can see there in the picture, uh, let me get to this one, right here, Switzerland, stainless steel, Victorinox, that's what you want to look for, um, is the name brand on that main uh, knife there. And so I sold this for $44.99 fullest price. I've been making a lot of fullest price sales, which I've been super thrilled about because I can't stand going back and forth with people. So making some fullest price sales was really good for me. You can see right here that it was even shipped and broken and scratched. I put it in the listing and these are still like 60, 70, 80 bucks new, sometimes even more. So I was really happy to make that sale and I paid $2 for it at the, at the uh, flea market. This is probably my favorite item of the entire video. This is an awesome uh, motorcycle rocking chair that um, a buddy of mine, if you saw my Instagram, um, I made a post about this too. If you follow me there, it's at Drew underscore thrifts and flips, 
all words, um, no symbols, Drew underscore thrifts and flips. I had um, gotten a call from a buddy of mine uh, who works at an apartment complex saying that over by the dumpster, this was being thrown out. And he sent me a picture of it. And immediately I went and picked it up. I stopped what I was doing. I don't even remember what I was doing, but I stopped what I was doing. And I went and picked this up immediately. It's just a beautiful handmade piece. Someone spent a lot of time making this. And uh, I listed it for $150. It sat for about two months and um, finally made the sale for $150 plus $70 shipping. So it was a really awesome sale. The uh, buyer actually sent me a note and said they were super excited about it and that they were uh, really thrilled. It was a beautiful piece and it was being sent to a friend and they asked me to put a little note on there saying ride on little X or something like that, you know, um, and just a really cool overall sale, really cool piece. Um, my buddy, Corey, who ended up um, giving me the lead on this, I told him I would split the commissions with him on the sale. So he's making a little bit of money for all he did was text me a picture and I ended up selling it on eBay. So, and I have a really cool video coming out about me going dumpster diving for shipping supplies to fit this in a box because it took a massive box to fit. So be on the lookout for that video on my channel as well. Uh, it's a really fun video. I think you'll enjoy it a lot. Next is these Lucky Brand uh, Flats women's shoes. They were like brown leather. Um, I got these from the church garage sale video that I had done. There were a bunch of leftovers um, from the church garage sale and uh, ended up getting these and listing them from the leftovers. And I sold them for $23.77 uh, plus shipping. So really good sale. I didn't pay anything for them. Next is something that I've been getting into um, a little bit more heavy is these like remotes, name brand remotes. I picked these up at garage sales for 50 cents to a dollar and uh, I normally sell them for $10 or more plus free shipping. So they're not huge sellers, but they sell really quick, um, especially when you offer free shipping. So this is just, um, you can buy five of these for, you know, anywhere from $2.50 to $5 and then sell them for 50 bucks you know, you're 10Xing your money there. That's still pretty good. And they sell really fast. They're easy to ship, really lightweight. And I don't include the batteries on those. Next is a uh, Kyle Larkin Detroit Red Wings jersey that I was, um, I picked up at the Goodwill outlets again. Uh, it was in really good shape. Reebok, obviously really good size. Um, and uh, sold it for full list price, $59.99 plus shipping. Um, I paid at the bins for it, you know, basically $2 or $3. So really good sale. Lots of profit here. Next is a Carhartt sweater, pullover, hoodie, whatever you want to call it. I picked this up at the bins as well and sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Um, the Carhartt stuff has been doing really well for me lately. Um, I pick it up at garage sales or at the bins, anywhere I can find it. Uh, the name is just really popular. It's got a really big, strong following to it. So that's something to be on the lookout for is this little tag right here, Carhartt, um, and just a really good sale, just a basic hoodie pullover, but 30 bucks. I mean, someone just paid $30 for that and I paid $2 for it. So next is another Goodwill Outlets pick. Um, this was a Cleveland Cavaliers 2016 NBA championship shirt. Uh, this is basically new with tags, without tag. It still had the sticker on it, it had definitely never been worn uh, just folded up. There was a little stain there on the bottom. I disclosed it and I accepted a best offer on this for $25. Um, so still a really good sale. Again, I paid basically a 75 cents for it, I think with the weight from the Goodwill outlets or 50 cents and I sold this in less than 24 hours. So really good sale as well. Next, this is a really funny one, guys. Uh, this is just goes to show you. I also posted this on my Instagram. It just goes to show you that you can literally sell anything on eBay. If you follow my YouTube channel, I put a gender reveal video up there because my wife is pregnant with our second son and we're super excited, super happy. And uh, we bought this Disney balloon um, at the park to do part of our gender reveal video with. And I ended up taking some pictures of it with the sunset in the background and uh, posted it on eBay here um, just as a joke really. And I put it for $30 and I got an offer for 20. I paid $14 for it at the park and literally I sold it for $20 plus free shipping. Um, at Disney, they don't actually tie the knot on the balloon. So uh, they just tie the ribbon. So I actually um, was able to deflate it and I put in the listing description that I was going to deflate it. 
and I still made a sale for $20. Cost me about $3.20 to ship. So at the end of the day, I made a little bit of money, but realistically, it was just going to show people that you can sell just about anything on eBay. So um, if you got something that you think won't sell, try listing it, you never know. Here's another remote, just a quick one. I sold this one for $15 free shipping and uh, an actual Sony remote here. And all of you, um, are, you can see all these at the bottom here. These Sony remotes have the model number down at the bottom, so it's really easy to look them up. And again, I just type in Sony remote and the model number, and then I do sell similar item. I add my own pictures and bada bing, bada boom, that's it. So made this sale probably in, in about two days after purchasing it from a garage sale. Next, uh, this is something that I've been doing recently is selling ties. Um, I watched a couple videos about ties and the brands to look out for. And this was on the lower end of popular ties, Robert Talbot. Um, and it's just a beautiful design, really cool colors. Obviously, you can see I posted like the, um, the length and width there. And uh, I ended up selling this tie for, um, I think I took an offer of like $17 or $18 free ship. So um, I bought these all at the Goodwill outlets. Average price was about 17 cents. So to pay 17 cents for something and sell it for 17 or 18 bucks, I'll take that all day. Um, and just to start getting rid of some of these ties. Uh, second to last item I have for you guys today is this uh, cro Cyclo Crossword Cannondale brand whatever uh, bicycle uniform. Uh, I actually found this at the Goodwill outlets and I looked up comps and they were between 70 and 100 bucks um, for most of them. This was a size small though, so it doesn't really fit that many people in the industry. Um, Castelli was the brand there. Uh, and I took a best offer of $60 for this. So I was really happy to make that sale. Again, I mean, it basically weighed nothing. It cost me like $4 to ship. So with free shipping, uh, you know, all in, I probably profited over $50 on this item. So just a really cool sale, a really nice thing to be on the lookout for. If you see them at the thrift stores and stuff under 10 bucks, you can do really well with these. And last item that I have for you guys today is this Calvin Klein puffer jacket. Again, just showing you guys that you can make sales in the summer for jackets. I sold this for full list price at $39.99 plus shipping. So um, I got this from uh, a auction lot from a long time ago. Um, I bought a bulk uh, lot of clothing from an auction and I basically had a dollar in each item with the amount of items that I bought and what I paid for it. And uh, I sold this puff Calvin Klein puffer jacket, size extra small. Uh, it's hard to see in the pictures, but it's actually a little bit of like a pearl, palish pink color. Um, so again, just made a sale, 40 bucks plus shipping, paid a dollar for it. So really cool sale there. And that's pretty much it. So. Uh, just wanted to show you guys some sales that have been coming through specifically because you can sell just about anything on eBay and, uh, m the money has just been coming in. I want to encourage you guys, if you've been thinking about starting a reselling, uh, page or getting into reselling on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, I didn't even go over any of the sales I made on other platforms. Uh, but if you guys have been thinking about it, definitely jump in, give it a try, post some stuff on eBay, post it on Poshmark or Mercari or, you know, offer up Facebook marketplace, anything like that. Give it a shot. You never know, uh, who's out there looking for the item that you have for sale. Uh, if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you and I hope it gave you some, uh, inspiration for some new items to be on the lookout for or to consider selling. Obviously you can see some of my items were pretty high sales. I think I'm averaging between 25 and $30 an item per sale. So, you know, that's my goal is to be over $25 per item average. I hope you guys really learned something from this video. Make sure to leave a like on the bottom and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. I'll be doing a giveaway at 1,000 subscribers. So until next time, I will see you later, guys. Peace, money!